Hi, and welcome back to 2017. What? Do you know how much cooler we'd be if that were a diptyque candle back there? You don't know my life. New year, new roots! I really feel like I'm growing this year. Already. Hey guys! Happy 2017! Sis? Plural? I don't know. It's the way it ended. It's only one year. Let's hope it ends better than that. My name is Stephanie, and this here's my sister Trice. Okay, but it sounds like you're starting like um, a fun reading for kids hour or something. Because I'm the first that would read to children. Maybe. If you guys haven't seen this before, go ahead and click the subscribe button so that you won't miss any of our videos because we're gonna be doing a lot of them this year. And also, click the little bell, make sure that's done so that you'll be even more notified when we upload. Okay, so this is one of our most favorite types of videos yes. that we do and that's hey what's new at the drugstore slash we just spent a butt ton of money oh my gosh you need to see all of these things i was gonna say new year started off with some bad decisions receipt or goals. some good ones receipt goals like whatever it go, look it, it's big enough to go across the screen and I'm not even moving it closer. Like this is where we are basically. Okay, a little bit, but you get what I'm saying. Like yeah. that's almost as tall. No, I'm taller. The saddest part is we have a whole nother haul later on from more makeup, you yeah. know. It's the year starting off right. That's the time of year. Lots of drugstore products and you know us, we are drugstore girls at heart. We love it. There's great products to be found at the drugstore, great prices. And we're gonna show you some of the things we picked up. But first, you need to give this video a thumbs up if you love it. Yes. Because that helps us out. I don't know. They say it does. They say it doesn't. Who knows? Who knows what it does? But I like thumbs and you like clicking. Yep. And real quick, we're not going to bore you on it. We have a store called MadisonandMallory.com. Be sure to check it out. These we tops are from there. Rocking it. So mm -hmm. uh, if you want to check it out, you can do that. Link is below. Shoes, sunglasses, clothing, jewelry, all the cool stuff is there. All your to be had. Just Foundation. Foundation. Uh, sometimes we like to start randomly. Sometimes we like to start where it belongs. The beginning. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. By the way, we still have not gotten the Wet n Wild coverall. Yeah, I can't find it anywhere. Angry. Stupid. We just did the nothing over five dollar challenge and we really wanted to find that foundation. Could not find that foundation. But we have a new video we want to do with some stuff. We'll, we'll tell you We'll get into it after we get into these products. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. It is the Photo Focus Foundation in Soft Beige and it says goodbye photo flashback. Helps eliminate white particle reflection. You get it from things typically with high SPF and also the oh, some of the white awesome. powders. Huh? Right, that's what I'm saying. Wouldn't think that you would get photo flashback unless you put the things in your face that cause the photo flashback. Well, I think, you know, a lot of the time people don't know what it is that does that. They just see, oh, I hate when that happens and Wet n Wild's like, look, this won't do that. And that's all they care about. It's like marketing it to people who have that Tested problem. under seven light conditions. Clear blue sunlit sky, outdoors PM, indoors PM, <laughs> electronic flash, fluorescent light, bathroom light, nightclub light. Oh, it's got you in a nightclub. But the main issue is not really different lighting conditions so much as flash photography. Yeah. All I know is it's a new foundation by Wet n Wild and it actually looks kind of fancy schmancy so I'm like maybe it'll be good quality for cheap. Wet n Wild has some new eyeshadow palettes. They say au naturel but these make me think of the sort of like the center stage one that they had from the Fergie collection. How much were these? $6.99. These are $6.99. Was the other one $9.99? It was yeah. bigger. It was a little so, bit bigger too. I think there were two, maybe three shades, but we got Bare Necessities and Nude Awakening. They're similar. I think these are supposed to sort of be like the naked palettes because it says get a little risque and go au naturel. So 10 shadows, nice like different finishes. I can see like mattes and satins and so yay, excited to try them. Yay. Yay. You guys have no idea. We have so many products <gasps> from Wet n Wild. We got got two highlighters from Wet n Wild. We, I don't know if it was these colors. Someone I heard say these are different colors than the ones that came out. I think they're just like repromotes from summer. I'm Some of this stuff looked like they were repromotes. Yeah. So this is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in two different colors. One is Crown My Canopy and it's more of like a rose gold highlight. Crown of My Canopy. It looks a little more gold and like a darker kind of highlight. And then Precious Petals is more of your like gold champagne. ivory champagne yeah. natural highlight. Is highlight really ever natural? No. 
Okay, this is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Ombre Blush. I think these are repromotes too. That's what we were saying, like it was in there together. And there's a fun like pinky peach color called Princess Daiquiri's and then a purpley one called In a Purple Haze. I feel like it could be fun because it could kind of give you a little bit of that like highlight blush contour mess-ish. Or just multidimensional cheeks. Yeah, I don't know, I'm excited to try it. Speaking of cheeks and highlight, we also got the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Makeup Stick. And these had like, gosh, like 12 different ones and some were contour, some were correction, correction and some were highlight. Actually, I think this might've been the only highlight, I'm not sure. You know, we thought we'd give it a go. A little creamy highlight, it's like a pinky, pinky color. It's when the nude strikes. Ha ha ha, get it, when the mood. I didn't get that actually. <laughs> Thanks for clarifying, I really did it. Okay, this is the Wet n Wild Lash Renegade Multi-Dimensional Mascara. I saw that even before we got it this time, but it was randomly in a drugstore, like not with new makeup. It says multi-planal brush, and it's got like the fun ball tip that on looks it. That like, is it a benefit they're, mascara? They're yeah. Maximizes every lash dimension. I smell a dupe video. I just think the packaging's really fun and it's cool, and I like it. This was kind of a random one because we don't typically go for powders and honestly the only powder I do use sometimes is loose powder. But this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder so it goes with the foundation and we got it in natural beige. I don't, I don't know. Same thing on the back. It talks about like goodbye. I understand this goodbye flashback. Right. I didn't understand the foundation. These are exciting. These are Wet n Wild lip liners and it says our first gel lip liner. You tried it. How does it feel? amazing. Now I can't speak for its lip lining preservative powder. Or like you know how like it keeps like your lips from feathering and stuff. Right. I can't speak for that. What I can say is you know how lip liners tend to be Ooh. yeah draggy and sticky. Super creamy. It's so creamy. Like you could put it on your lips and then kind of do that in the center to get it kind of blended. Could you wear it alone? Oh yeah, you can wear it alone. It's basically a lipstick. So sweet. That is one of the things that I have tried that I did like. And we got it. The color I'm wearing is called Bear to Comment. This one's plum together. Like come together. Okay, that's an old song. I appreciate that even though these are affordable products, they don't skimp you on the amount of product you get. It's also a nice good. packaging. Yeah, these feel really nice. And also Wet n Wild's cruelty free. So Has it always been cruelty free? I think so. We got some liquid lipsticks from Wet n Wild. They are the uh, Mega Last Liquid cat suit to be exact. We've got a ton of colors and I actually tried these earlier because I wanted to put on lipstick and, and try them and I am a huge fan of their application. They feel amazing when you apply them. I'm not so sure that I like the way they set on my lips though. Maybe with a base on your lips it'll set yeah. better. Maybe my lips are a little bit dry today. They don't have a smell but like she said there were a ton of colors. We yeah. just picked up four of them. They're gorgeous. So we got Give Me Mocha and Berry Recognize. We've got Rebel Rose, which is like oh, such a beautiful mauve. And then we also got Nudist Peach, which I'm kind of feeling like it's gonna be light because Tracy, that was her first thought. I'm sure it will be, but it could be something. Maybe it'll dry down darker. Yeah. They did seem like they dried down a bit darker. This was Give Me Mocha and that was Berry Recognized down here. I was really excited about these Mega Cushion Soft Matte Lip Creams, but I saw a swatch and I was sad about the color choices. The color choices were like, not what I wanted them to be. Like they had very neon looking shades and the packaging is really fun. It looks like they're trying to go for that like Korean beauty type. So interesting. So interesting. See, like that's neon. Yeah. It's this big blob in the center here. Ne no. And it's the color Melon It Like It Is. No scent. Telling it like it is. Get it? <laughs> if you weren't already tired of Wet n Wild, I'll give you some more. We have other things other than Wet n Wild. We promise. <laughs> we promise. We have. A whole bunch more. And this one is a concealer. Same thing as the foundation and powder. And I'm pretty excited because I feel like. Swatch it. I mean, it could be lighter. It really could be. Whatever. When I put on my shape tape, it feels like I'm putting on white. Yeah. And I wish I had the step up. It's a little bit. It's not bit. bad. It's not bad. It's a little bit thick. What are you about? Wet n Wild Gel Lip Balm Perfect Pout in Love. It's our first of a kind gel lip balm. This kind of looks like a baby lip, sort of. So, I mean, it's a very colorful lip balm, yeah. but it's, a, it's no smell. No smell. What is wrong, Lim Wild? I mean, I know some people are sensitive, so that's cool that you have those options, but dang, I do love a good scented lip balm gloss thing. All right, this is the Wet n Wild Get the Skinny Laser Precision Subtle to Stand Out Looks. While you're opening that, I'm just gonna show this Wet n Wild Get the Skinny Captures Every Lash Mascara. And I think, you know, some people really like having like a bottom lash mascara and a top lash mascara, so this could be something that you're like, this is my bottom lash mascara. Oh, ooh, that's real tiny. Yeah, it is. 
real black too. And it seems kind of <laughs> flexible. It's so tiny it is. I like it. You know how a lot of the felt tip ones are pokey? Yes. This feels like a brush. A, yeah, that's exciting. I'm drawing wings on my hand. I really like this this packaging, this like skinny stuff and like black and pink and like, I don't know, I just think it looks really cute. Oh, that is a teeny brush. I think it's a fiber mascara. Oh, oh that's a teeny brush. Couple of stick stickies. We've got this Jordan. Is it Jordana or Jordana? I always say Jordana. I think. Yeah. It's the Glow and Go Creamy Strobing Stick Color Radiant Glow Highlight in under 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. Creamy contour stick. Eh, eh. Static. Gotta love it. I like that. That color. We picked it up. We thought it was gonna be a decent one. Yeah. Highlight feels pretty good, Trey. This feels like it'd be a good like summertime. And summer. It's real pretty. You know how it feels, cause that feels good. Yeah. Got like a nice like slip to it. Ooh. Ooh, chiseled. I might regret that later. It's okay, have fun in the comments. Talk about my nose. Bam. And we only got one color of the contour because I love that it's called a stroping stick and not a highlight stick. Oh, I can tell it's like a whiter. If you want serious blingage, go for the Jordana Glow and Go. The fair. Pearl Glow? Yeah. Pearl Glow, especially if you're fair. <laughs> okay, L'Oreal. So my signing things no. and not all of the new stuff is in this haul. Some of it will be in an upcoming haul. Because we got it at different places. So this is the L'Oreal 24 hour. Oh my God. The infallible total cover, full coverage, weightless feel. Supposed to be not matte and not radiant, it's natural, and it lasts for 24 hours. It's complete, like full coverage, but it's supposed to feel air light. That's interesting. So, How's it gonna be like that? I don't know, because when I squirt it out on my thick. hand, it comes out in this kind of tube, which is already rut row. Why rut row? Because it's gonna be thick. Watch it. She's in rice. Yeah, like it comes out like in little worms. Yeah. Use everywhere face, neck, arms, and legs to cover imperfections and even skin tone. This is so dang exciting. I feel like Wrong. one of the first blush palettes. Also, I would say that I don't typically love L'Oreal blushes. I don't even know if I've tried very many. But these look fully pigmented. It's part of the paint line, which is the where the lip paints that everyone are talking about is part of. Okay, what do you want to touch first? Mm, I'm just gonna touch this one. The lightest. Oh wait, what am I feeling? I mean, this one's lighter, so it feels creamy. It's not bad. It's actually pretty. It says you can like mix them and stuff. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. It doesn't feel bad. No, it feels good. It has like a really finely milled feel to it. Like, I mean, this it's right there. It's not, it's not terrible. These are interesting colors. Oh my gosh. That I'm, no. <laughs> that I'm not sure I would uh, go for on an everyday basis. But, but maybe uh, if you sheared that one out, it wouldn't be so crazy. $16.99. Whoa! But buddy. we got a deal on it. We got like buy one, get one half. Yeah. All right. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Paints Liquid Eyeliner. And uh, we got a black one because it's a black eyeliner. I'm gonna feel it first before I judge the tip. It's a little watery gray compared to the bad. I heard how that wet and wild came out at first. It's buildable. It has a gray look to it. Now, I do like Very that the close. tip is flexible. It doesn't have a sharp, pointy feel. Oh, overall, I'm not mad at it. I like the packaging. It's really cute packaging. Yeah. Like, really stinking cute packaging. Really stinking cute. They're coming out with sponges at the, at, at, like, the major Watch brands. Watch out, Yeah. They've got different shapes. They've got some that are geared towards contouring, some that are geared towards foundation, and this is more of, like, a contour. No, this is concealer. concealer. Because, I mean, like, it looks like, a, like, it's like a finger. Yeah. Yeah. But it doesn't say anything about wetting these sponges. So I don't know. We think this is new. It's from L'Oreal. It's the Brow Stylist Frame and Set. I don't think they've ever had a pomade. If they have, your girl hasn't tried it. I go through stages of liking brow pencils and pomades. Usually the problem I have with pomades is it slides off my face. Like yeah. I need something with a little more like waxiness. Blonde. It's a good color. It looks pretty good. It's a little green. I'd rather it be green than like an orangey yeah. blonde. It's crumbling though. Yeah, that's and weird. I don't understand that. Like as she's applying it to her arm, little balls of it are. It's like as you build it and put like another layer on, cause you know you would do like the strokes yeah. and you would kind of overlap. It's like as you overlap, it, it's, rubbing it, it's off. rubbing it off. That's really weird. Yeah. We'll have to test you in yeah. the brows because I think it's really cool that they have this angled one that you can apply it with and then you can flip around and do that. Okay. Now Next we have something from Neutrogena and this is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Tint. 
So this I think is gonna be something where you're like, hey, I just wanna put on a little bit, kind of like a BB cream, but I'm hoping it has a better consistency because there have not been any BB creams where not I lately. love the way that it feels on my skin. They usually feel sticky. The only one I really liked was that Stila one that we had for a while. And it wasn't yeah. even really a BB cream, it was like a bronzer. So I think you need to think of this as a tinted moisturizer. Because I mean, it says hydrating tint, but it has hyaluronic acid. It'll moisturize and plump your skin for 24 hours. And we got the color Buff 30. Yeah, it has one of these weird gigantic doe foots. It's like Clinique, right? Didn't Clinique have one like that? Yeah, the Beyond. I mean, here's what I'll say. I told you that it kind of sheared out, but it's got a decent. Shade. But do you see how it blends out and it almost? It has a very like gel feel yeah, to good it. Yeah, okay, Grimmel. These are some cheek palettes. We have two. There are, I believe, three. So we've got this one in. 001 Golden Sands, and it's got a highlight, a contour, and a blush. And I feel like this is like a blue tone kind of blush. And then this one is in 002 Coral Glow. And again, highlighter, contour, blush, and the blush is a coral color, like it says. Are the highlights shimmery? Are the contours matte? It looks like this contour in the 001 is shimmery. Oh yeah. But this 002 it looks like everything is pretty much matte. That looks like it has, has a fattiness. No, I, not matte. It's like not glittery. It's like no But particles. you know how some things they call highlight and it's just a light powder? Oh, I just spit on that. Hello, Chalk City. Is it just white? Oh, it's annoying. Stupid. Yeah. Doesn't count. I'm just not a fan. Disappointing product right there. I, Eyeshadows don't fail me now. Yeah, like the Wet n Wild, they have these Magnifies shadows from Rimmel. How much were these? Mm, I do like how on the back they've got like a guide for how to apply stuff. That makes me happy. Oh, and it's also based on like eye shape. It kind of tells you how to get yeah, 001 Keep Calm and Wear Gold and 002 London Nudes Calling. $7.99. I mean, uh, it's not compared to this 16 something palette. How is it? That one's oh. pretty. Use that one as a highlight. I mean, there's some pretty colors in here. They're not terrible. Look at that one. Yeah, they're not bad. I think for I would say with, yeah, for $7.99 and with a decent primer. Yeah. You can make some things happen with these. Look at that one. Yeah, I like them all. I mean, I think they're I think they're worth checking out for you guys. Oh, lipstick. Lipstick. All right, these are the Kate Rimmel Kate lipsticks, long lasting lipsticks, and this is the color 45. I'm wearing it over the Wet n Wild lip liner. I'm not mad at it. I can see how it'd be light if you don't have like a base put it on color. my hand. This is 46 right there. Pretty. It's, it's just... pretty, but it just came off really just I it just didn't look good. 45 is the like pinky blush mauve, and 46 is like a salmony peachy kind of warm peachy. I'm wearing Milani matte naked. It's like heavy rotation. This palette, we got to check it out when we went to New York with Maybelline and it's the 24 karat nudes. They told us it would be out in January and we're so dang excited. I love the Maybelline nudes palettes. I like the original nudes and the blush nudes. Not so much like the rock nudes. Yeah, I'm excited to try this. Okay, these are new Revlon. Revlon. Revlon blushes, which at first I was not interested in, but then when we saw them again, we were like, okay, let's get them. My thing was, I've had a couple of these Revlon blushes in these in this packaging, and I've really liked it. Come on, Revlon, let's do this, you know? The cool thing about these is they were listed as like mattes, satins, and shimmers. This is seeming a lot lighter than. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, white? Yeah, what? that's. It doesn't even show up. That's, that's how light this one is. You guys. Yeah, that's sad. This because... one was uh, Rosie Rendezvous, and it's like, it's turning into like this white cast. That's real sad. I don't know. <laughs> this one's not showing up. I would say go darker than you think you need to because, I, I don't know. <laughs> Stuff says just skip them. I mean, of everything this else. This one's pretty. This this one is pretty. It this is, is yeah. Orchid Charm. If you're looking at our entire haul and you're like, man, I, I, I want some new things in my collection, I would say there are a ton more options in here that would probably be better than those. Okay. I think that, uh, I think we bought too much makeup, but it's cool. It's yep, cool. an hour later, we've gone through all of this stuff. Let us know down below if you guys have picked up any of this stuff. What are your first impressions and thoughts on it? Hits and misses. What did we forget to pick up? I know we probably forgot some colors because we couldn't get everything. We also have another video coming. It's probably gonna be more like Ulta related because that's where most of it came from. Oh, and also we were talking about doing a video. We're thinking about doing a full face with Wet n Wild. Tell us what you think. Give this video a thumbs up if you think it would be a good idea. And yeah. Cause some of that stuff would be like first impression, which I think would be fun. Uh -huh. Be sure to leave those comments down below. Don't forget to follow us on all the social. All the social. All the social. 
We're on the Snapchats, the Instagrams, the Facebooks, the Twitters. And you also check out our store, Madison yeah. Mallory. We have a yeah. Facebook page for it, and we can talk to you guys on there. Don't forget to subscribe to TNS. That's our other channel. We do other things on there that aren't makeup related. If you want to go back and watch our vlog mess, it's there. Yeah. And don't forget to subscribe. Check the notification bell so you don't miss us. And we'll talk to you guys real, real soon. We sure will. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.